Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're finding these videos supportive for your cycle, for every phase of the cycle. And this practice that we're going to do today is kind of a, a heavy hitter, a one-two punch. Um, for those days when you feel really heavy, lethargic, maybe you're dealing with stronger cramps or the strongest part of your menstrual cycle, the heaviest flow, uh, abdominal pain, lower back pain. This is the class that I've been getting the requests for the most is what do I do when I have horrible cramps? Um, so I'm going to give you two poses. You don't have to do both. You can pick the one that feels best in your body that day and just rest there for at least three minutes. And why I say that is because it takes about three minutes for the body's nervous system to switch from fight or flight to the relaxation response. And if we've been chronically stressed or our nervous system has been chronically taxed, it can take even longer than that. So give yourself at least three minutes to really relax into the pose, um, put something comfy on. And as you can see, I've got a lot of props around me today. So grab whatever props you have available. If you have a couple of books or pillows that you can use in the place of blocks to support the knees, if you have a strap, go ahead and grab that or a belt. Um, you can even use like a small towel or a blanket. Um, and a bolster, that's gonna be your best friend. So that's something I would invest in if you don't have it yet. But for today, just grab a couple of pillows or a stack of blankets that you can make the shape of a bolster with and a blanket. And then we'll go ahead and get started. So go ahead and set your space, put on something nice and cozy. Maybe you play some nice relaxing music in the background, diffuse some relaxing oils and just set your oasis and we'll begin. Okay. So this first pose that we're going to do, reclining Supta Baddha Konasana or um, butterfly pose, recline supported butterfly pose, is known as the mother of all restorative poses. So if you don't know what to do, just come to this pose and lie down for a few breaths. Any part of your cycle, any phase, this is a great pose to come into. And this can be the sum total of your practice. So let me show you how to get set up first. So I'm placing the bolster right at my sacrum and I've got the blanket laid out for as a pillow. Um, you can also lay it over you once you're set, um, put it as extra support under your knees or under your sit bones, wherever you feel like you need a little more support. Now with the strap, I'm going to wrap it around me so it's um, closed in a loop. I'm going to put it at my sacrum and then it's not coming over my knees, but it is going to come underneath my feet, the bottoms of my feet. And I'm going to make it nice and tight. And that's just going to hold the butterfly position for me so that my um, inner thighs and the pelvic muscles don't have to do the work because we're trying to open them up and relax them. So to further support the pose, I'm going to put blocks underneath my knees. You can put pillows, books, again, whatever you have available to you. And then we're slowly going to recline back. So taking your time so that your abdominal muscles don't have to do any work. We're not putting any extra strain or heat on this area that's doing a lot of work right now. So just reclining back. Arms can come out wide if that feels good. I know the more spacious that I can feel, the more able I am to relax. So maybe you find this as well. Or maybe you're going to place your hands onto your lower abdomen, onto your womb space. Maybe you're placing them on your heart space. Just finding a position that feels warm, grounding, open, and spacious for you right now. And just giving a couple of rounds of breath to let the body settle. Noticing if your inner thighs or your pelvic muscles are still clenched or holding. And just bringing your attention there, see if you can begin to release that, just passively, gently release the attention. Releasing tension in the shoulders, the back of the neck, the muscles of the face.
poses where we're reclining onto our backs can be really helpful for lower abdominal cramping. Really open that space up. Continuing to take deeper and deeper breaths. like to give the mind something to focus on, you can inhale with our count of four. And exhale for a count of eight. Focusing on the exhale in this way supports the downward flow of energy in the mind. And if it feels stressful or overwhelming in any way to count, just let that go and return to natural breathing. feel a little overtaxed in the butterfly, you can remove the strap if you're even using it, remove the gloves, and just come into a cross-legged position with the legs. Receiving the support beneath you. Take one final deep breath in, full exhale out. Release your legs from the strap. Step your feet onto the mat. Knees are up toward the ceiling. And we're going to gently roll to the right side to make our way up. So we don't want to come straight up because that's going to put strain on the abdominal muscles. We want to keep the relaxation that we've been cultivating there. Coming up slowly, removing the strap if you were using it. And just one more pose. So this one can be especially helpful if you're feeling like you've got abdominal or lower back pain, or if you could just really use some comfort, some holding on this phase of your cycle. So we're going to come into a supported child's pose, and I am going to place a block underneath the top of the bolster so that I'm not laying flat, but I'm at an incline. 
I'm going to take my knees nice and wide to come into this child's pose. Now, if this is too much on the knees, feel free to just extend the legs out. You may have to stack the bolster up a little higher. That's perfectly fine. So finding the leg position that works best for you, and then you're just going to tuck the bolster right into the pelvic area and extend over it. Kind of hugging or hanging on to the block or pillow or book, whatever's underneath the bolster for you. Letting the legs relax. Letting the belly relax. Letting the shoulders relax down the back. And again, just tuning into the body. For some, if they have abdominal pain, putting this much pressure on the abdomen doesn't feel good. So you can just return to a supine reclining position like we just did. Doing forward folds is really soothing and calming to the mind and the nervous system. As the body settles, you can settle into a breathing pattern that feels good in your body right now. Nice deep inhales without forcing the belly against the support beneath it. And then full releasing exhales. Halfway through, we can extend the spine out and turn the head the other way. So balance it out in the spine. Staying low to the ground. Allowing the belly to be soft, the heart space to settle into the blankets beneath you, to the support beneath you. Creating a sensation of being hot or held. find that you are experiencing some emotional release, just let that flow. Know that this is a loving, supportive space that you are being held. And that you are 
exactly right where your lips are. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Feel free to stay here as long as you feel to. I'm going to start to come out of the pose, so I'm walking my hands back toward me again to support the abdominal muscles, to support the torso to come up without a lot of work. And then I'm slowly going to slide myself away from the bolster. And that's it. You can sit and breathe for a few moments if that feels good. You can lie down and take a shavasana or go lie down in bed and take a nap. But just keep this reverential stillness and love that you've created in this very brief practice. Just two of the most supportive poses for lower abdominal uterine cramps and low back pain during the menstrual cycle. And honestly, anytime you're feeling heavy or exhausted, this is a restorative practice to return to. May it be of highest support to you and your highest unfolding and well-being. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.